the very best quarterbacks in the NFL have mastered the art of moving to the next play. Why would I want my players focused on the next play? There's nothing they can do about the play that just happened. It's in the past. It's in the rearview mirror. It is now unchangeable. They acknowledge that no matter what just happened, that play is over. It's done. It's in the rearview mirror and it's unchangeable. So they quickly refocus their lens on the next play, the next snap. And any physical, mental, or emotional currency they waste on something that's in the past that is unchangeable, that is in the rear view mirror, means they don't have that emotional, physical, and mental currency to invest in the present moment where they can still make a difference. So no matter what happens, we have to have the wherewithal to quickly move to the next play. What makes football such a unique sport is that sometimes the next play will occur in 40 seconds if you maintain possession, and sometimes the next play will be delayed if you turn the ball over. When a quarterback throws an incompletion, they need to shake it off quickly and be ready immediately as the next snap is coming in 40 seconds. When a quarterback throws an interception, they still need to shake it off quickly and refocus their lens, but their actual next play may not happen for several minutes when they get the ball back. And I'm of the belief that there's only two things in this world we have 100% control over 100% of the time. That is our effort and our attitude. One of many things that separates elite quarterbacks like Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen is their ability to wipe the slate clean after an incompletion or an interception and not let what just happened have a negative effect on what's happening right now. See, we don't control what goes on in the outer world, but we always control how we respond. And ask yourself, am I choosing to place my attention in what I believe is most deserving of it in this moment? I'm gonna say that again, because it's really important. Am I choosing to place my attention in what I believe is most deserving of it in this moment? This mindset directly applies off the field as well in business and in life. And that's ultimately what we're talking about is being in the present moment. Now, another way to say that uh, is something that I heard both Nick Saban and Oprah say, and I figure if those two people are saying it, it has to be true. And that is being present is simply being where your feet are. Be where your feet are. Wherever your feet are, make sure that's where your head and your heart are as well. We have to get all of our faculties in alignment. And the more of you that do that consistently, it won't be a matter of if you hit the goals, it'll be a matter of when.